This is our lab, where we're going to put our bodies to the test to show you how your body works. <laughs> ah, that really hurts. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Today, we're looking at digestion. We're going to follow the journey that food makes through Chris's body. And in order to do this, I need to get Chris to swallow a camera. This camera. It's a mini camera pill, and Chris is going to eat it. And it's not just a camera. There's lights, a battery, and a radio transmitter in here. And what flavour is it? Camera flavour. My favourite. It's a new bit of kit that doctors use to look at problems with people's insides. So we're going to go on a journey from my mouth all the way through my digestive tract. Let's go. It's going to take approximately eight hours for the pill to make its way from Chris's mouth through his body until it comes out in his poo. And the first phase of the journey is getting into the stomach. And this only takes seven seconds. It's amazing how quickly it's got into your stomach, isn't it? Yeah, it goes like that, doesn't it? And you can feel that. When you drink cold water, you can feel it go cold in your stomach. Yeah. And here are live pictures from the inside of my stomach. The ridges you can see are muscle. That's what pushes the food you eat through your digestive system. So there's lots of space in your stomach. It's basically a muscular bag where food is stored while it's cleaned by stomach acid. Chris, now I want you to eat some sweets and we'll be able to see them in your stomach. Here's some water. These sweets will now make their way down to my stomach. Here, they'll spend a couple of hours being swished around and washed clean. It's a bit like a washing machine. And that's the reason you have acid in your stomach. It's not to break down food, it's to kill bacteria that might cause disease. And you might think it's a bit dangerous to have a bag full of strong acid in the middle of your body, but actually the stomach is coated with kind of thick protective mucus, and that stops the acid attacking the stomach. So let's see if we can spot those sweets. Yay! <laughs> there we go, two of them, side by side. That feels very private, to look inside your stomach and see your sweets. <laughs> yeah. So the sweets and the camera will now be cleaned in Chris's stomach acid before being pushed out of the stomach through the sphincter muscle. The next stop in my digestive system is the small intestine. This is where the action really happens. There are the sweets from earlier. And you can see the furry lining of Chris's small intestine. It's made up of tiny finger-like things that help to break down food. The small intestine is where food gets digested and it gets mixed up with chemicals called enzymes that digest the food. And that's what we can see from these live pictures inside Chris. All that yellow liquid is the mixture of food, bile and mucus. And you can also see the blood vessels on the walls of the small intestine. The reason the blood supply is so good here is because this is where your body gets what it needs out of the food. It gets all the nutrients and it gets all the energy, the protein, the fat, the carbohydrates. And then this, this sort of sludge here a mixture of bile and the food that you can't digest and the mucus will go into the large intestine and that's where it gets turned into poo. Just... This is like tomorrow's poo. Right? <laughs> yeah. On to the final destination for the camera pill, the large intestine, and that means it's poo time. And the large intestine is the final bit of your intestines and it runs like this along here, out here and out your bum. The camera is now in much thicker liquid, and the main function of the large intestine is to take the liquid out of this and make a solid poo. Well, it's still quite liquid, isn't it? But there are much more solid bits in it now. And in fact, I think the camera is now kind of up against the next poo that I'm going to have, and it, it's going to become part of that. It's a very high-tech way of looking at your poo. Yes, it would be much easier to wait till it came out but then we wouldn't get to see my lovely, healthy gut. Hmm. Lovely isn't quite the word that springs to mind, but seeing live images from the inside of Chris's guts has been pretty amazing. From the moment you swallow your food, just like the camera pill, it will take eight hours to travel a total distance of nine metres. From your mouth to your stomach, then from your small intestine to your large intestine, until it's ready to be pushed out as poo, ending up in the loo, which is where that camera pill is headed.